seen her on campus before. Um, excuse me? Um, yeah? Are you talking to me? Um, yeah. Can I sit? Sure, if you want to sit with little old me. Oh, sure. Kendra. Oh, cool. Uh, my name's Pine. Hey, just like the school. Oh, everybody says that. <laughs> but there's no relation. Oh, um, well, I have to go to class. I'm going to see you later, I guess. Um, what, what number's your dorm? Oh, uh, 419. Oh, can I stop by? Sure. All right, I'll see you then. Uh, nice meeting you, Pine. You too, Kendra. Um, and welcome to Pine Grove. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I appreciate it. You're the first one that said that to me. Um, yeah. Bye. Bye. Well, I better get to my dorm. I have to tell Astrid and Raina some pretty exciting news. You call me again, ma'am? Yes. Bring me that Kendra girl that was talking to the chosen one. She will give us my pure amulet back. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what are you going to do to her, may I ask? Oh, just some old trick I have. Up my sleeve that I haven't tried in a long time. Yes, ma'am. I will bring her right away. Right away. Okay, so you know the new guy from Aspen Heights? He's so hot. Oh, I totally agree. Yeah. Guys, guys, guess what I found out about the necklace? What? You, you finally gave it back. No, I didn't. Because it's mine. I thought we already went over this. You found it in the lost and found it. Somebody else's, you're just claiming it. No. I call, okay, so um, I called my mom and... Well, actually, I texted her a picture of the necklace, and she said that that belonged to me. And she, and I could keep it. Really? Yeah. No wonder why no one was claiming it. Why would it be yours, though? I have no idea, but I like that idea. Okay, Remember, don't always wear it all the time because it's kind of creepy. How is it creepy? I mean, it's underneath here. I mean, it's not like anybody's going to steal it from me. You never know. Pine Grove is a weird place. It's not that weird. Anyway, who's hungry? Oh, yeah. And I just met a new girl today, Kendra. She is so pretty and very nice. So I invited her over to her dorm. Um, okay. Alright. So she should be over here in about five minutes. Pine, yeah, just be careful. You never know who can be out there. I know. That is a pretty prize to win. Don't worry, I'd never think of, like, stealing it or anything, but it is a pretty prize. Just be careful with it. Yeah. Don't use it to your advantage. I won't. Relax, guys. I'm capable. I remember I took care of my pet's gerbil for three weeks until he died. You killed him? No, literally, he committed suicide and jumped off the vanity. Uh, I, I don't know why. I mean, he was such a sweet one. I mean, I kept chasing him all around. I think he jumped to save his life from you. Oh, please. I'm an animal lover. Um, this is awkward. <laughs> I'm just going to stay here until Kendra comes. Guys, try to be nice to her. We are nice. Yeah. Oh, did you hear that guy from Aspen Heights was a complete idiot? Oh, wait, why was he an idiot? Because he, he, you could tell that he's the one that's going to be in competition with Ben. 
yeah. Ugh. See, you guys are n ugh. Whatever. Ugh. I'm so tired. I don't really care right now. I had a big day. Yeah. You barely did anything. Mm-hmm. Sat on your butt all day. Oh, please. Um, excuse me. Oh. Oh. Hi, Pine. Oh. Hey, Kendra. What's up? Nothing much. I had a great day at school today. Oh, that's good. Um, are you okay? I mean, before you were just, like, complaining about school. Oh, I was? I mean, I was. Yes, I hurt school. <laughs> um, these are my friends. The Astrid is right here. And, um, the other one's Rivera. Hi. You're Kendra. That's right, I'm Kendra. Hmm. Nice to meet you. <clears throat> Let's, uh, go. Uh, by the way, um, can we tell each other deep secrets? Uh, sure, what do you want to know? Um, hmm, uh, you go first. Oh, okay. Um, I found this necklace here, but then it belonged to me. At first, it was at the Lost and Found. Then I found out it didn't belong to me. Wow! Can I see it? Uh, sure. It's just in here. Hold on. Let me take it off. Uh, here it is. <laughs> oh my goodness! It's so pretty. Can I touch it? Uh, sorry. I don't let anybody touch it or anything other than besides me not even astrid or river can touch it oh that's too bad well i think we're gonna be best friends yeah i mean i need one of those i mean astrid has river and i'm just one of the three i guess i need another one of course you do and i'll be your best friend so once we get more you know um acquainted with one another can i touch it maybe one time um, I don't know. Well, I'll let you think about it because, you know, um, it's yours anyway, so. <laughs> yeah. Alright, uh, I have to go. Wait, I thought you were going to tell me about your, I'm leaving. I gotta go. See ya. Huh. Oh, well. I think I can trust you with this. Isn't that right, pretty? Good, she's gone. Pine. Yeah, what's up? Put that back on right now. Um, okay. What's the matter with you guys? You were so rude when Kendra was here. You barely talked to her. Listen, me and Asha have been thinking. We think something's up with Kendra. Come on, guys. You're just saying that just because I have a new friend and she's new. You know nothing about her. But I got a terrible feeling in the pit of my stomach, too. Yeah, I don't know how you can't see it, but I I don't think Kendra's going to be a friend. Of course she is. She's the sweetest. I mean, she was so nice in the halls. Something's different about her. Are you sure it's... That's Kendra. Of course it's Kendra. It looked exactly like her. She was wearing the same outfit. Everything was the same about her. Um... Just, Pauline, you have to watch your back. What are you talking about? There's nothing wrong with her. You know what? I'm going to trust her with my amulet. Or whatever it is. No, you really shouldn't. Yes, you have to trust us. Guys, you're just jealous that I have a new friend now. You know what? Just, I'm done talking about this. I'm going to bed. I, I hope that you guys, tomorrow... Apologize to Kendra and me. Good night, guys. But you still have to get undressed. Oh, forget about that. I'm just going to bed. Why won't she believe us? I don't know. I do think that there's something up with her. Me too. You know what? Me and you tomorrow are going to find out what. Exactly. I'm going to go to bed now. It's pretty late.
I'll see you in the morning, okay? Okay. Good night. Good night. I need to talk to you. I, excuse me? Who are you? Oh, don't think it's not obvious. It's me, you idiot. What? No way! Why, what are you doing in Miss Kendra's body? Pretty neat, huh? I told you I had a thing or two up my sleeve. And I did. I am this close to snatching that amulet out of Miss Pine's hands. How are you doing it? How does she even believe you? Oh, I make it work. I just need you to do me a favor. I can't do this all on my own, you know. Listen, Pine right now thinks I'm the sweetest girl ever. I ever heard her talking with her friends. Her friends think that there's something up with me. Or Kendra. So, what I want you to do is to get rid of them both. What do you mean? Not exactly get rid of them, but make them not spend so much time around her. Once they don't, s start a lie. Once they don't spend time with her anymore, they won't care about the amulet or anything else about her. So, get rid of them so that I can deal with Pine. Are you sure this is wise, ma'am? I mean, those girls are pretty smart. It's for the best. Now, go. When should I do it, ma'am? I'm planning that if by the time I keep this up, I can have the amulet by tomorrow. So, just, um, try to keep them away from her and keep them separated. I'll do the rest. It's Izzy Face with Rebecca, Lana, and Caroline, and today we're going to do a rev another review of the Argeration Kitchen set. I already did a review of what came with the set, so if you want to go see what actually came with the set, go um, uh, click the link down below in the description. Now, this is with some of my foods in more detail, and... Um, you know, less like I have to hurry up with this and sort of thing. So we're just going to get started and I'm going to actually start out with the kitchen, like actual kitchen part um, this time instead of the refrigerator. So yeah, let's just get started and excuse the background a little, I know it's a little messy back there, but yeah. So we just have Rebecca here, just going to move her out of the way. And also as well as Lana. Okay, so let's just start down here. Of course, we have to have all the cooking supplies that we need to cook a good meal. So we have a pot here, a meatloaf slash bread pan, however I'm going to say it, and then a cookie sheet. In the oven, we have this turkey that I made out of clay for my Thanksgiving photo shoot. If you want a tutorial on that, I will do one. And actually, I know that I didn't have any brown clay and I used marker, but it actually turned out pretty well. Even though it kind of looks bad. Then the knobs turn, and you like my sock monkey shirt. <laughs> um, in the pantry, here, let's just go across, uh, we have all-purpose flour which has nothing in it, and then um, some Lucky Charms, because my family loves it, and then some cereals, some more, please, sorry about the glare, um, this I guess is like um, Lucky Charms, just with like chocolate, so yeah, and then Fruity Crunch, which the pantry is pretty good because it stretches pretty far back, which is a plus. Let's bring that back there. Okay. Now we have the, um, uh, da -da -da. what is that called? A uh, dishwasher. Yes, yes. It only has two layers. It comes with three. Again, if you want to see, like, the what the, the set actually came with, go check out that other video. Uh, we have some measuring spoons 
and a spatula in here. And our dishwasher only has two layers, that's why I only added it. And then this big bowl, I'm never probably taking this out of here because it's just so big, I really don't want to put it anywhere else. So it's always going to be washed. Closed. There we go. Alright, moving on to the stove top. Again, these move. I just have them in one place. We have this other pot from our generation. It's just a different brand. It says our generation on it, but I know you can't really see it. Then we have this sponge. I still love playing with it. It's so cool. And then this water bottle, which they did a great job on. And then this background. Whoops, why did I just see that? Here we go. Alright, so across from that, we have a blue cup and a big spoon that I guess goes with the um, big, like, um, bowl, and it's on drying rack. And then across from that, we have a strainer. I said a drainer in the video, but it's a strainer. And then a Lego piece. My brother's must have been over here, like, on this area. <laughs> Uh -huh. And then back here we have a soap dispenser and, whoops, a phone. And then I have this, why do you keep coming off? This book from Dishing with Doll, um, the actor set, kind of like actress set. I, it's really hard, Doll Star book, that book. And this is what came with it, Sizzling Desserts. I have some pretty good, cool recipes in here, so I just added it for, and these move. So in the microwave, we since it is winter, we have some hot chocolate. This is pretty self-explanatory, but if you want a tutorial, I would do one. Basically what I did is I added Play-Doh, and then I painted it um, brownish. Then I added um, marshmallows. Like, not real marshmallows, but if you want a tutorial on that, stop coming down. I will do one. Okay, so let's take this out of the way. I made these online. If you want a tutorial, I will do one. This is the wavy potato chips. Here, let me try to focus.